I'm Peter Green. I'm the director of the Celiac Disease Centre at Columbia University. Gluten-free diet is actually the most popular diet that's Googled throughout the United States, so it's a very trendy diet. It's a very important diet for people who have celiac disease. Going on a gluten-free diet if you have celiac disease saves your life. And there's very little scientific evidence to support the benefit of a gluten-free diet in anything except celiac disease. We actually think that a gluten-free diet is not a very healthy diet, and that's for a whole bunch of reasons. On a gluten-free diet, individuals have to avoid wheat, rye, and barley, and anything that's derived from them. All the non-gluten-containing grains are not fortified, uh, whereas wheat flour is fortified with folic acid, B vitamins, and iron, and so it's not unusual for someone on a gluten-free diet to be folate deficient or iron deficient. Another important factor with people on a gluten-free diet is they often don't eat whole grains. And what we've recently been made aware of is that people on a gluten-free diet have increased levels of heavy metals, uh, arsenic, lead and mercury. And we think that's due to the large amount of rice that's eaten on a gluten-free diet because rice appears to absorb these heavy metals from the ground at a greater rate than, say, other grains. We would suggest that any individual on a gluten-free diet should be under the guidance of an experienced dietitian because there are these factors in a gluten-free diet that we think are not very healthy, and individuals typically who are on a gluten-free diet eat the same stuff all the time because they identify it as being safe. 